feel like the size difference in the ship. This is one of like the secret rooms. Hello from the parking garage at Port Miami. We are back. It's time to go on another Disney cruise. This time we're going to be going on the Disney Magic for the Silver Anniversary at Sea. First time on the Magic and we are so excited. I am so excited. We are going to be celebrating our anniversary and Matt's birthday on this yeah. trip. And like Matt said, we've never been on the ship, so I'm super excited to compare it to the dream and the fantasy. Yeah, and we've never been to this port either, so this is an entirely new experience for us, but we just had a very long, almost four hour drive and I'm ready to get on that ship, so let's head in. And there it is, the Disney Magic. We're just waiting for the elevators to get over to the port now. But we got this nice view of kind of like half the ship. This building here is blocking half of it, but I am so excited. And here we are, Terminal C, Disney Cruise Line. I will say, this is not as nice as Port Canaveral, but doesn't matter, we're getting on. Here we go, it's time right. to check in. We made it through security, now it's time to check in. So the check-in process was very, very easy. It took us less than five minutes in line to get checked in, now we're gonna get on. That was so super quick and easy, and now we're about to step foot on the ship. Yeah, it's open boarding, so we can just get on. Yeah, Even though we're only here a little bit after our boarding time. Yeah, and they said that our stateroom should be ready, we could go drop our stuff off, and then the first place we're hitting up is Cabanas. And just like over in Port Canaveral, before you get on the ship, they have a couple of the photo backdrops here, so you can get your family picture before you step on. Here we go, we're stepping onto the gangway. A few more steps, we'll be on the magic. This is just always so exciting. I know, especially because this is a new ship that we haven't been on, so I'm really excited to see what it's like. All right, here we go. Please welcome aboard the Thai family. Thank you. Woohoo! Wow. Welcome aboard of the Thank you. Wow, this is beautiful. Definitely a different feel versus the other ships, but I'm so excited to be on the magic experience one of the smaller original ones it has all the 25th anniversary banners and decorations looks like Lumiere's one of the restaurants is right here and they have the little stage area there's the staircase this is real pretty and there is Mickey steering the ship the icon of the Disney magic this is so awesome another one to check off the list there's a good photo opportunity with this 25th anniversary backdrop over here in the lobby atrium as well. So the Port Adventure booth is right over in the front too. And we're just trying to figure out how to get to like the elevators. Oh, here they are. Here's the elevators and the stairs. I think we're gonna go to our room first and drop off our bags. The elevators are a little busy, so we're gonna take the stairs. We have to go up to deck five. And this is the Silver Anniversary at Sea Cruise. So you can see they have all the windows decorated with those decals. So all we did so far was walk up the stairs to deck five and I can already feel like the size difference in the ship. It's definitely a lot smaller. It feels like nice and cozy. So I'm excited to like get out, drop our bags off and explore a little bit more. But yeah, right away, you can notice the difference. So we made it over to our room. We are stateroom 5020. So we're in room 5020 on the Disney Magic and it is an inside stateroom, but we got really lucky because this is one of the like secret ocean view staterooms. So we do have a porthole, which we'll show you. And I'm really excited because we've only ever stayed in a veranda. So this is our first time in like an inside or ocean view stateroom. So um, we're gonna take you around and show you what it's like. Yeah, so we're gonna start right over here. So right when you first come in, on your left hand side is one half of the bathroom. This is a split bathroom. So you have a toilet and a sink in here. You have a little rack where you can put, you know, any of your makeup or anything you need for your hair while you're over there. Of course, you have a mirror with some lights over here as well. And they also have a hair dryer. I'm not even sure what this is. And then of course, as you can see, right across the way is your closet. You have your safe with a couple of cubbies down there, some hangers over here as well. And then as we slide these doors open, you can see there's another side of the closet. So pretty big closet space. Of course you have space up top where the life jackets are. There's a good amount of hangers in this room and a pro tip is to always bring some extra hangers because usually there's not enough, but in this room, there actually is a good amount. So like I mentioned, this does have a split bathroom. That is the room that we just showed you. Right on the other side of the wall is the rest of the bathroom with another sink, which is nice. It's really good for two people getting ready at the same time. You have a full-size mirror 
there as well. And then here is the shower. The showers are tight on cruise ships, no matter which cruise line you're going on, unless you're staying concierge level in like one of the suites, but the showers are tight. It looks pretty similar to the fantasy and the dream. So those are the bathrooms. And now as we're coming into the room, we have some more storage over here with some drawers. You have a little shelf with some, some glasses. You could put some more things. There's this great photo of Walt and Lily over here from 1934 on the deck of a ship. You can see he's holding Mickey Mouse in his hands. And then we turn this way and here's the bed. Always one of the highlights of staying on a Disney cruise ship is how comfortable the mattress is. There's another mirror here too, which is great. This is like an actual full-size mirror, so you can see like your entire outfit. You have your little nightstands over there. There's gonna be no USBs over in these nightstands because this ship is one of the original Disney Cruise Line ships. So no USBs at the nightstands, but so far so good. I was trying to figure out what looks different over here and there's no connecting door to another stateroom. Right. You know how there's usually a connecting door? Yep. There isn't in this room and I think on the Fantasy there was also shelves over near like the area where you just showed them where the glasses are and there's yes. not. So I think that's what's different. Yeah, and there were, there were like cabinet doors. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but there are um, a lot of drawers and storage over here as well as the mini fridge. And of course they have the TV which pulls out and swivels. So if you're watching in bed, you can move it any way you want. And then um, the couch here is a pullout and this also pulls down. So this can fit like a family of four, yeah. five. Yeah, technically you could probably bit. sleep, you know, five adults but it, or four adults, but it's gonna be a little bit tight. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, obviously if you're a family, you, could, you guys can cram in. But here is the couch. Then there's some more drawers and storage over here. A little makeup vanity slash desk area. Another mirror. And yeah, that is our room. Honestly, it's, it's more spacious than I thought it was gonna be for an inside room. Like Alex mentioned, we've only stayed in veranda state rooms so far. So I was concerned about like the, the tightness of the room and not having, you know, a, a balcony to kind of escape to, but this is really nice. And then like we said, this is one of like the secret rooms that actually is an ocean view room. We have a porthole right here. So here is our porthole, which is nice. It even has like a little ledge, you know, if you wanna sit over by the window. But we do have like a slight obstruction from some of the equipment that is over here. But again, this is a inside room at an inside room rate. So really anything extra you get is gravy. This is amazing. I love the fact that we got this. We had no idea when we booked it and it was just kind of the luck of the draw, but I'm excited to have them. Almost forgot to mention that since this is a silver anniversary at Sea Cruise, we got our new lanyards and we have these from the last time we were on the cruise. And we also got the Castaway Club bag. It's time to cruise. There's Mickey and Minnie on the front. This is the same exact giveaways that we got when we were on our last cruise a couple of months ago. We might even do a giveaway, so stay tuned for your chance to possibly win the bag and the lanyards and the piece of artwork that'll be coming later. So the elevator is over here. These are kind of advanced. This is even more advanced than the Dream and Fantasy. They just have these touch screens. As usual, our first stop was over at Cabanas. We picked up some lunch over here and then we got this awesome view of Miami over here by this window. So we just finished up our lunch at Cabanas. Just wanted to give you a quick overview of the restaurant. It's pretty similar and familiar to the other ships. You always feel the crowds on the ship a lot more on the first day, and Cabanas is definitely a place that you feel it. It is very crowded. Oh, and look at all this. If you're a seafood lover, they have peel and eat shrimp and crab legs. Looks pretty good. So we're gonna walk around and do some exploring of the ship. Back over this way is the Aqua Lab. It's currently closed, but there's the slide. Look at the funnel of the ship there. So exciting. Just walking along the deck here, there's all different tables and places to sit and eat. They got a movie playing on the funnel vision over here. And then this is one of the family pools. It's kind of hard to see. We'll go up to the next deck and we'll give you guys a better view. But yeah, this is one of the main family pools. We came up to deck 10 to get a better view of deck number nine. There's a hot tub over there on the left. There is one of the pools. Again, the pool is really tiny. Definitely smaller than on the other ships. But then again, there's a lot less people on these. Here's the stage where the sail wave party is going to be taking place. 
in a little bit, and it looks like right now they are showing Toy Story. So we continued our way on Deck 10, and we came across the adults-only pool area. This is really, really nice. You have the jacuzzis right over there, and it's a pretty big pool. It looks bigger than the pool on the Dream of Fantasy. I don't know if it is square footage-wise, but it looks a lot bigger. One thing that we noticed is they don't have the hot tubs that overlook the ocean. They're kind of just regular hot tubs around the adult-only area, but still look very nice. I'm excited. And even though the sun's not out right now, it does feel nice weather-wise. There's a nice breeze that's coming onto the ship, so it's nice and comfortable to walk around. The next thing that we are coming across is the wide world of sports, and this is like where all the basketball courts and all those things are. And they have a couple of courts over here. You got some families playing basketball. It's really cool. You get to play basketball on a cruise ship. And back over this way on this side of the funnel is the entrance to the Aqua Dunk. Now this one's different than the Aqua Duck. This one is a drop slide as opposed to the tube slide. So we came from this way. We walked all the way to the aft of the ship. There's some more seating out here, like actual dining tables and then this is Palo. So Palo's on the inside of this restaurant over here but something we were saying is really nice is you can kind of walk like pretty much all the way to the aft and get some really great views and kind of feel like you're literally at the edge of the ship. There's some more places you can go stand over there with some more tables you can get even closer to the edge of the ship there but yeah. I'm liking the design and the layout of this so far. So we came down to deck three, which is where all of the adult entertainment is, like the adult nightlife stuff. So we're gonna go see what we could see. And then here is Fathoms, which is where a lot of the nightlife adults only shows, like the game shows and everything take place. And there's another bar over here called Keys. And I really like the theming. Like this looks like a baby grand piano with all the different keys on it. There's actually a piano back over there. So this is a, probably a good place to come, listen to some music and see what kind of events they do. So one of the bars that they have on board is called the Soul Cat Lounge. You see they have a little stage where musicians will come and play, and it's like a jazz-themed bar, obviously themed after Soul and Joe Gardner, but this is a really, really cool aesthetic. There's just like booths here, lots and lots of tables, and then some cool artwork on the wall. have Joe Gardner's coat and hat over here on the coat rack. And just down the hall from the Soul Cat Lounge is Rapunzel's Royal Table. This is one of the three rotational dining restaurants here, obviously themed after Rapunzel. Heard a lot of good things about this. I'm excited to check it out. You can see on your way in, they have like a classic Rapunzel. It's not even like the Disney version. That's pretty cool. Flower, gleam, and glow. <laughs> Let your magic shine. Oh, what a voice. That's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> we stumbled our way into the D Lounge, and this is where a lot of like the family-friendly shows and trivias and things take place. This looks pretty similar to what it does on the Dream and Fantasy, although we were saying it might be a little bit smaller than those, but very, very similar feel. One of the main tips that I could give you is if you want any merchandise on a Disney cruise, come here on the first night when they open because things sell out and if you're looking for specific size, sometimes they run out of it, especially for the Silver Anniversary at Sea stuff, go the first night. Like, I got this bag the first night and after the first night they were gone. We are sitting in front of the Buena Vista Theater and they're showing everything that's gonna be playing on our sailing and we were a little bit surprised to see that they aren't playing the Haunted Mansion because it does come out this weekend and usually they put out like the newest movies. So they're showing Indiana Jones, Elemental, The Little Mermaid, but we haven't seen Haunted Mansion on there and we were hoping to maybe see it on the ship. Yeah, here's a look at the schedule. They're showing Elemental, Indiana Jones, Strange World, Encanto, and The Little Mermaid, and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. But yeah, no Haunted Mansion. Little surprise. So we were just downstairs for a few minutes. We did the mustard drill. It was very, very smooth. Took maybe 10 minutes at the most. We're back up in the room now. Our luggage actually got here. So I don't think we're going to unpack yet because the Sail Wave party starts at 4.30, which is just about 10 minutes from now. So we're going to grab whatever we need for the next little bit of time and then make our way back down to deck nine for the sail wave party. I'm excited to see this one. I don't know if it's any different than what they do on the other ships, but we're about to find out. Welcome aboard the beautiful Disney magic. Now, for the past 25 years, Disney Cruise Line has sailed the seas, bringing people together all over the world. But 
Today is a very special day, my friends, because this cruise specifically marks exactly 25 years since the Disney Magic's inaugural sailing in 1998. Give it up for the Disney Magic, come on! around and we'll show you guys what the kids clubs are like. There are a few different themed rooms, one of them being Andy's room and they have this sign right in front of it with all the characters from Toy Story and then this is really really cool. It's like a little kids playground area. They have a slinky dog slide and then it really feels like you're in Andy's room. Like all the wallpaper is the clouds, there's posters on the wall. It's really really cool. The kids' clubs are always like very, very well themed. So as you exit Andy's room, the next room that you're gonna cross into is like a Disney Junior themed room. Not a lot of props or anything in here, but I'm sure there's all different fun activities that take place. Now this is cool. This is like the Marvel Training Academy. This is all Marvel themed. You can see the, the logo right there on the table. They have Thor's hammer over here in the case. And they do special like activities with some of the Marvel characters. Like Thor will come here and do some different activities with the kids. Spider-Man. It's cool. And you don't always get to see some of the Marvel characters on a cruise, but if you come to the kids club, this is where you can find them. They have a little screen over here, which they might use to show movies or anything like that. And then the last area is Pixie Hollow. And that's all fairy themed. You can see the plants and the tables. 
cute space for the kids. So we just got back to the room after visiting the Oceaneer Club and we are moving. You can see the Miami-Dade police is taking us out to sea. And we do want to get outside because we heard it's a nice view as you're leaving the port of Miami. By the way, that's definitely not a hairdryer in the bathroom because I found the hairdryer in the drawer. I don't so, know what that thing I is. I don't. Maybe it is to like dry bathing suits or something. I don't know. I don't know. That's so weird. We have to figure it out. It's, it's before our time, whatever it is. <laughs> so we freshened up and we got ready for dinner and the show. Tonight is cruise casual, so we're just keeping it nice and casual with a Roosevelt shirt that they actually sent me. So... Thank you, Roosevelt's, for sending this. This is one of my favorite new shirts that I have. I'll leave a link to this shirt down in the description down below. But first, we're going to go downstairs, check out the shopping. That opens at 6 o'clock. And then the show tonight is Tangled. So we're going to go see that over in the Walt Disney Theater. And then we have second seating on this cruise. So we will be eating at Lumiere. So let's go down, and we'll see what we can get into. And we are moving and grooving. We're officially out to sea. We didn't get to see Miami like off in the distance because we were unpacking and everything, but we're moving. And we don't really feel the boat moving all too much, which is good. So down on deck three, Mickey Mouse is currently meeting as people are heading into Lumiere's for the first seating of dinner. And then back over here in this corner, can't really see it right now, but Minnie Mouse is meeting over there. So over here on deck four is White Caps and Mickey's Mainsail. These are the two stores. We stopped by before and just did a little bit of window shopping, but they open up in about, I think, 15-ish like minutes or so. So we're gonna do some shopping before we go to the show. Alex is checking out some of the Disney Cruise Line specific jewelry that they have here. There's some of the 25th anniversary items out here. Let's see what they have. They have a coffee mug in those colors. There's a t-shirt over here with the silver anniversary color scheme. And these are pretty popular. Everyone's been grabbing these. It's a little silver Disney Cruise Line ship with that teal turquoise color. And then of course the ship itself is silver for the anniversary. They have some of the 25th anniversary Nike golf polos. I picked this up on our last cruise and it went really, really quick. So if you want this, it goes on night one. I also really like the Disney Cruise Line necklace that they have. This is $125, but it's really cute. It has the ship on there. They have some window clings over here. I wonder if these would work on your stateroom door. I would think so because that's probably why they sell them in here. But they also have a Disney Disney Magic Spirit jersey for $79.99. There's Goofy on there. I like that. There's some more items in here. There's some coffee mugs. There are pins, some magnets, and then they have this throw blanket which has all five of the Disney cruise ships on it. We're gonna head over to the Walt Disney Theater because the show tonight is Tangled. This is a show that we've never seen before, so I'm really excited. Now all the shows that take place in the Walt Disney Theater you cannot film in, so we'll let you know what we think once we get out. All right, so we just got out of the Walt Disney Theater and we watched Tangled the Musical. It was so good. Like that, I think now is one of my favorite shows that we've seen so far. Yeah, I really enjoyed it too and all of the performers were amazing. The main girl, Rapunzel, she had an amazing voice. Yeah. And I don't know, I really loved it. I enjoyed it a lot. It was good. And, like, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed, like, Frozen when we were on the fantasy, but I think I liked the story of Tangled a little bit better. Yeah. So I think that's why I enjoyed this one a little bit more, but it was great. Like Alex said, the whole cast was amazing. It was really good. And we get two more... Broadway style shows on this cruise that we haven't seen before. Yeah, all three of these shows we've never seen, so it's exciting and fun to see new ones because we've seen um, the Golden Mickeys right. and we've seen um, uh, Believe. Believe. Yeah. We saw Believe twice, and that one's one of my favorite shows. Yeah. But I'm excited to see the ones tomorrow night and the night after because they're going to be new to us. Yeah, always enjoy going to see the shows. I know some people, if you cruise a lot and you've seen the shows multiple times, some people do skip them, but we don't recommend skipping them, especially if you're a first time cruiser. Make sure you go see those shows because they are so good. We do have about 30 minutes until it's time for dinner, so we're just hanging out over here in the lobby atrium, listening to some of the piano music from the live musician over there. Some of the characters are out meeting too. But it's just great to kind of stand here and soak in the beauty of the Disney magic. And of course, the photographers are out with the backdrops to get your photos taken, your family photos. That's what we're going to do now. We're going to hop in line for these. So it's 8.15, they're letting everybody in, and I am starving, so I am ready to get in there. Let's do it. We're going to head inside Lumiere's, our first of the rotational dinings on this cruise. It is very 
similar, if not exactly the same, as Royal Court on the Dream and the Fantasy, which kind of caught me by surprise. Everything looks exactly the same. I don't know if it's 100% the same, but it's very, very similar. So for our first course, we both got the baked brie. We've had this over at Royal Court, and it is so, so good. And then for our main dinners, I went with the lighter fare sirloin steak, and we're gonna talk about what we think about all the food once we get out. And then you got the Chateaubriand filet, right? Yeah, and I've had this in the past, but I didn't have it on the fantasy, so I wanted to try it again and see how it is. Then the best part of the meal, our final course is dessert. I got the apple tart, and then Alex got the Grand Marnier souffle. Okay, so we came up to deck four. We are finished with dinner, and if you've seen any of our other, other cruise videos, you're probably wondering, why didn't we kind of film in the style that we normally do where we talk about the food in real time? And that's because we did not get a private table. We did request a private table, and that's something that we always do when yeah. we go on our cruises, but we did not get it this time. So we ended up sitting with uh, two other families tonight, and then one family was a no-show. So there will be eight people at our table, at least, you know, it was tonight. Yeah. I'm assuming it'll be the same situation for the rest of the nights, but yeah, we have to sit with some other people, so I didn't want to like have the camera out the whole time, yeah. and then it's kind of like rude, so we figured we'd just show you guys what we got, and then we will talk about it after, and we're gonna do that every single night. But overall, everything was, was pretty good. I mean, I didn't get anything crazy, I just got the sirloin steak. You got the uh, Chateaubriand. Yeah, and it was only okay, it's not my favorite. And just like um, the, not Enchanted Rose, the Royal, Royal Court, Court, it's not our favorite menu, and yeah. this was a very similar menu, so it wasn't our favorite. Um, but yeah, like Matt said, we requested a private table, and we also requested first seating, and right. we didn't get either of those. Yeah, and so that's the first time ever. Yeah, and but I will say, I noticed that there was not a lot of private tables in the yeah. restaurants. Now, I'm thinking back in the day when cruising kind of first started, you sat together at tables with other families. That was a very, very common practice. And this is a ship that is 25 years old. 25 years old, actually, almost to the day. Yeah. This coming Sunday will be its 25th anniversary. But you can tell that this is an older style ship based on the design of the dining rooms. When you go on the Dream and the Fantasy, and maybe even the Wish, we haven't been on the Wish yet, but the Dream and the Fantasy for sure have a lot of two-person tables. Yeah. I think the smallest table we saw was a table of four. four. Yeah, we walked around afterwards, and it was a lot of big tables with multiple families sitting at them. Yeah. I don't think I saw one two-person table. No, I did not either. So yeah. I think it's just the layout of the ship. So we'll kind of keep you updated on that. We'll take a look at the layout on the other restaurants just to see if that's kind of a thing. So if you're coming on the Magic of the Wonder, yeah. just something to be cognizant of is that you probably will be seated with other parties. But luckily we have some nice families yeah. at our table. And we're excited to, you know, chat with them a little bit more as the cruise goes on. Yeah, definitely. It's a good way to make friends. Yeah. Daisy Duck is currently out meeting right now. She's got a pretty lengthy line. It wraps around almost the entire fourth deck of the lobby atrium. But we're going to head back down to deck three and check out Fathom and the adults-only game show that's happening. We were just in Fathoms, which is the adult-only area, and they played a few games in there. And that's probably our favorite thing to do at night. It's so much fun. They play so many like funny games and everybody gets involved there was like a scavenger hunt one there was one where they had to like put the numbers in order it was it was just really fun and tomorrow night they're doing match your mate which is one of matt and i's favorite games to watch so we're definitely going to be checking that out tomorrow it's so funny yeah it's so funny. it was so funny on the last yeah cruise. especially if they get some good couples involved it's it's great it is a quiet night out here on the disney magic all the pools are closed it's about 11 30 we're just grabbing some drinks, some water, before we head back up to the room. And this time at night, as well as early morning, are like my two favorite times to walk around on deck outside because there is nobody around. And a tip we have for you guys is to bring refillable water bottles and you can keep like fresh, nice cold water in your room at all times. And over here at Pinocchio's, the pizzeria spot is open until midnight. So if you're looking for a late night snack, this is, I think, the only place that's open this late. So we just got back to our room for the evening, and you know the towel animals are a highlight of coming back to your room. Our first one tonight is a swan, and then, of course, you have the two chocolates that they leave on the bed for you as well. 
I'm excited to see what other tattle animals we get. This is like one of our favorite things to do when we come back to the room. Also, when we got back to the room, there was an envelope on our uh, fish extender outside of our door with a note that says, happy birthday, allow us to create a relaxing and memorable day for you. We invite you to celebrate your birthday at Census Spa and Salon. Apply this $50 spa gift certificate towards any 50 minute or more signature face or body treatment during port days. That's really cool. So my birthday is on Monday, which is the day that we are getting off of the ship. It's our final morning, but that's really nice that they did that, a $50 gift certificate. So maybe we'll go get a massage for my birthday. We'll see. And with that, our first full day here on the Disney Magic comes to an end. It was a great start to the cruise. I'm so excited to see what the rest of the days have in store. I know. I love cruising. Disney Cruise Line is the absolute best, and it's so fun being on a new ship and experiencing new things. So I'm excited for tomorrow. We're going to yeah. be in Nassau, but we're going to probably stay on the ship, enjoy more of the amenities, maybe check out the adult-only area. Oh, definitely. Yeah. It'll be nice, too, because a lot of people get off on Nassau Day. A lot of people stay on the ship because the word's kind of gotten out that staying on the ship is the better option. Um, but we'll see how crowded it is tomorrow. Like, we've only done that on the Dream and Fantasy. Yeah. We have not done that on the Magic. So I'm curious what the crowd levels are like on a port day when you're staying on the ship. So I'm excited for that. Lots of fun to look forward to tomorrow. So we can't wait to share that video with you. If you guys enjoyed coming along with us today and if you're excited for the rest of our cruise adventure, make sure you give the video a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel down below so you don't miss out on all our future videos to come. And with that being said, we'll see you guys real soon.